So this is the Christmas ornament. I cut off the handle part of it, so it's now just a circular ball. So I'm gonna paint this black so I can do it for the uh, power stone. So yeah, this is what the orb is gonna be. So these are the two orb pieces that I spray painted. I spray painted them with black spray paint, and then uh, yeah, so that's how they are. And for some weird reason, the way that the paint went onto it, it had some pieces that were shiny. See right here, this right reflective part with my thumb is right here, and then then most of it's dull. It's so weird. It's like dull, and I'll oh, see if I can zoom in for you. Yeah, see, see right here it looks like there's like different like shades and stuff like that. Meanwhile, it's I did the same, so I don't know why it went on like that. So, but to me, it doesn't seem like a big problem because I'm gonna cover up with mostly hot glue in the in it. anyway, and I'm, then I'm gonna cover that hot glue with some silver sharpie. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I just don't know why it went on like that. But yeah, so that's basically what you do and. uh Maybe I maybe didn't sand it enough or something like that. I don't know because I did sand it so the paint would stick a little bit better But who knows? So yeah, so now I'm gonna cover it with some hot glue and then uh, I'm going to cover it with some silver sharpie then we'll move on into the insides of the orb to make the raised panel like line things or whatever I don't I don't know what exactly it is it's like more like a rock so it's yeah there's like a bunch of like craters in the actual ball it reminds me much of the moon uh, the way it like has craters in the ball so I am using the hot glue to make the raised parts of it and then I I'm not putting in any specific uh, pattern it just I'm just basically just going around and just randomly doing it so yeah and it ended up looking good uh, water so I can get all, as much as those little strands as possible off from the hot glue and then see, there you go and put them together and that's what it is there's the orb so if I now there we go now I'm gonna cover it with some sharpie with the, the hot glue all the hot glue and then uh, yeah so then the outside would be done and then I'm gonna use this ball thingy for the inside so I'll show you how to do that in just a moment so right now I'm gonna cover this with some silver sharpie bit difference this one yeah so this one is what the device this one's gonna look like so I'm gonna do that and so that's the um, orb right here you see I covered it in sharpie let me get the light on here for you so yeah let me I'm just plugging my lights because I just finished that And that one when it keeps going out okay so yeah this is the orb I covered in complete with sharpie see it's now silver see yeah, there you go that's better so yeah now it's all silver so I talked about this earlier that I'm gonna use this and it's gonna be since it's just a bit smaller than the actual uh, orb itself I'm going to as it's in here I'm going to 
because it has this seam. You see, you see it right here. The seam right here. I'm gonna cut right down the middle, cut it in half, and then I'm going to put it inside the ball. So then I can actually make the housing of the of the inside for the power stone. So yeah, so I'm gonna cut it with a blade like this, and it's gonna cut down the middle. Now I cut both of these two in half. See right here, I cut them both in half. And they fit perfectly inside the orb. You can see, there you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these in gold duct tape because the paint probably won't stick to it because this is really, really thin plastic. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also to clarify, I'm not covering the outside, I'm covering the inside, so yeah. So here I finished this one right here. Try to see if I can get in the light. Let me use my phone light. Look, see, that's better. Directly on it. But yeah, look, see, it's got the gold inside. So now I gotta do this one, so yeah. Fin well, I already started technically on this one, but I'm gonna. F so I just wanted to say I finished this one, so yeah. Uh, so then I'm going to uh, finish this one. Put and then hot glue these two in, and then uh, um, then I'm gonna make like a ring thingy so I can uh, that goes around this edge and the edge in here, so that the thing will fit nicely in there. So yeah, then I'll make this the power stone, and then this orb will be all done. So this is the stone I made. I know it's not that purple. In real life, it's got more of a purplish tint to it. Uh, let me see if I can get a light so I can shine through it so you can see maybe purple a little bit better. I know it's not any better, but that's more like a purplish tint to it. It's not much. It's not. You can't see it really that good in person, at really at all. You can see that little bit of purple, but it's because I what I tried to do is I tried to mix some purple ink with some hot glue. It didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to, but this is the best outcome I've gotten. And I've, I've tried many different methods and stuff like that, so it's the best one I've gotten so far. And uh, yeah, it's the best one I got. So, and then I tried covering with some uh, purple marker, but that just wiped off after time over time. And yeah, so that's what I got. And it's not exactly that purple, but that's what I did. So, but you can do it however you want this is just the was the way I thought it was best because I couldn't figure out any other way so but yeah that's stone and then I said about the ring basically I just took the uh, just draw the circle of the actual ball like this and just traced around this onto cardboard and then I traced around the ball inside and then I created that ring so then they fit together as I'm trying to do this with one hand there we go, just perfectly. So now they got a tight fit, no breaking apart, and then right here. So that's what it is, and uh, that's how it looks. So now you'll see the montage of a bunch of photos of this. Thank you guys so much for watching me make the Power Stone Orb. I had a fun time making this and I really like how it came out. I'm sorry I've been in the way for, for a while, um, but I'm going to be posting videos back again even though school's starting. So yeah, I'm CBP Studios. Bye!